So, as usual, before we begin sa atong katikisim, I would like to invite you to open your Bibles uh, to Romans chapter 8, verses 8. Uh, verse uh, chapter 8 verses 31 through 39 Romans chapter 8 verse 31 through 39 and the word says here what then shall we say to these things if God is for us who can be against us he who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of God, of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword, as it is written, for your sake, we are being killed all day long, we are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thus ends the reading of God's holy, inspired, inerrant, and infallible word of God. May He add His blessings to it. Amen. Okay, may hapon sa atong tanan. So, let me just mention this uh, at the very beginning. Okay, This is somehow related sa aning nga topic. Reformed theology or Reformed churches confesses and proclaim that once saved, always saved. Or can it ginatawag nga eternal security, some other theologians calls it. Or can it perseverance of the saints. Now, this uh, doctrine are true because gito dun siya sa Bible. One of my questions before you, because God is uh, consistent sa nature. He does not change. Kung unsa siya mag sa tao before, bogi na siya in terms of uh, sin. Pagkasalan ni Adan, kabalo magkita nga, the kindle of, the wrath of God was kindled. That is why the very reason kung uh, makabantay mo sa video sa sa YouTube or sa Facebook nga, ikasabaan ni Arsis Paul ang mga tao, nga nautana sila nga, nga no daw severe ang punishment nga nidisobey raman daw si Adan. Ikasabaan ni Arsis Paul ang mga tao, it is because, although lagi in the sight of man, disobedience na to. Pero before the Lord, it, ang consequence na to is eternal wrath because God is infinite. Now, kato siya nga truth, wala to siya na bago, wala to siya na change actually. So that is why, nagiwan ng Bible sa Romans chapter 2, that when we sin, or ang Gentiles, or ang unbelievers mag, uh, makasala, yung sa Bible, they are storing wrath. Diba? Storing wrath of God. Mabasa ni mo na diya. So, in that terms, wala ga bago ang dealing sa ginoo sa tao. But the difference lang sa mga Christian is, although wala ga bago ang, ang, ang attitude sa ginoo, pagabot sa wrath, sa sin, pero sa attitude sa Christian mismo is, na siya ginatawag nga dili na makindle ang wrath sa ginoo. And the very reason for that is because of Christ's intercession. We believe that once man is justified, it is always justified. But the question again, that, that when we, whenever we sin, dili na siya ginapalabay sa ginoo. Because every time we sin, that is objectively committed, that is objectively committing to this transgress the law of God. And by that, kung makasala ta, God is still, dili siya yun nga ipalabay na niya. Objectively, gaka-displace siya. The difference lang sa unregenerate o sa regenerate is ang regenerate because na Christ nga nag-intercede but the unregenerate, they are storing wrath of God. Now that is, kanang tanaawan ni mo, in reality, once justified, it is always justified. We all know believe and we believe that. But in reality, because Christ is now in heaven, na siya ginabuhat dito. Which is the reason why dili gakakindil ang wrath sa ginoo. Muna siya itong maisgutan karun din eh. 
diri sa intercession. Now, kanin siya nga topic, para po natay context, if you notice, kanin siya nga topic, intercession, it always relates sa priestly work ni Christ. Now, who not the priestly work ni Christ? Ato na na-discuss sa three office ni Christ. But, Magit ani mo dia gimension ni giapil giapil ni siya sa Westminster Divines dini. It is because kani siya nga topic is related pa ni siya sa exaltation ni Christ. So which is wala pa tanaw sa exaltation magud napatay napatay last uh, stage sa exaltation ni Christ. So ato na isgutan ang uh, exaltation ni Christ at the first stage is the resurrection, the second is the ascension, ni ascend sa langit uh, with his body, with his uh, nature. And then uh, sitting at the right hand of the Father, which is having the authority or uh, power to exercise in heaven and on earth, and appeal dito sa sitting at the right hand of God is kaning intercession. So, ma notice niyo sa question 54. Nagitagad niya ni pagtagad, it is because dito na to makita ng reality sa ginabuat ni Christ dito sa langit. The very reason why ilan ng gibutang, because ang body mo ni Christ, kaning pareha na nga nature ba na amagun sa langit. So, unsa ginabuat ni Christ karo dito sa langit with his body. So which is atong naisgutan last time ang last year ang, ang mga gibang buhat ni Christ as uh, part of sitting at the right hand of God and last nga yang ginabuhat dito ang atong na mention is kaning intercession which is we will discuss this afternoon. So question 55 ang question is how does Christ make intercession? And the answer is Christ make it intercession by his appearing in our nature continually before the Father in heaven in the merit of his obedience and sacrifice on earth, declaring his will to have it applied to all believers, answering all accusations against them, and procuring for them quiet of conscience, notwithstanding daily failings, access with boldness to the throne of grace, and acceptance of their persons and services. Now, so ato na siyang bayin nun, para mas matagsatag sa ato matagsik. So, nai upat, ako siyang gibahin sa upat, which is makina na tayo upat. So, let us divide the topic into four headings. So, ang unang-una itong may sigutan is by representing us before the Father. Ikadwa, by declaring His will before the Father. And the third, by maintaining our state of justification before the Father. And the last one is by pro procuring for us the privileges from the Father. Okay? I hope maklaro, pero ito na siyang balik-balik na niya. So, una-una is, by representing us before the Father. Question 55 again, how does Christ make intercession? So, ang word ng intercession means to go between or intervene. So, if you notice, sa kanyang ginatawag na mediator or mediatorship, mediatorial, o sa intercession, although murag na siya synonymous, but ang mediator is broad na siya which is ang intercession is part sa mediatorial. Especially kay Christ, siya ang mediator. Dili lang man kay uh, pagka mediator ni Christ, nag-intercede nag lang siya. Dagan pa siya gibuhat, he lived uh, uh, a perfect life. So, part na siya sa pagka mediator. So, ang intercession is another part which is specific na siya sa pagiging, uh, pagka sa trabaho ni Christ as a mediator. So, take note of that word, intercession is to go between or to uh, to intervene. So, ang tubag niya, ang first point na to is, Christ make it intercession by His appearing in our nature continually before the Father in heaven in the merit of His obedience and sacrifice on earth. Ato na siyang i-explain, tapos nagsawa na to. Ang word nga appearing in our nature simply means ang pag-represent ni Christ sa iyang katawahan dito sa amahan. Pinaagi sa iyang human nature. Kaya lagi, mo nang i-emphasize his mga ang bodily bodily uh, ang body ni Christ ni asen dito sa sa langit ug unsay significance sa to nga masabtan nato dinhi eh. unsay significance sa to which is masabtan nato dinhi eh. so una na dia is by his appearing in our nature he appears before God with his human nature dito atubangan sa Ginoo ang purpose sa pagrepresent ni Christ sa iyang body dito sa langit atubangan sa amahan is para sa iyang katawhan kay para magamit niya or in other words mahimong basis niya sa iyang pag-intercede para sa iyang katawan Kay a young human nature ang nag-fulfill sa requirement sa amahan. Which is, ang requirement sa amahan that Christ must have a body. Ang body mismo nag-represent, or that is why he, we profess and we proclaim here the reason of incarnation ni Christ. The very reason nga Christ, the very reason why Christ was incarnated, that is because naa siya i-fulfill, nga require sa ginoo. Kung ang requirement, Kani siya nga requirement, asa man siya gikan. If you remember sa itong covenant of works, na which is si Adan, nakasala mismo, 
the same covenant of course na dapat i-fulfill ni Adan or dapat i-fulfill ni Christ since si Adam is tao or human in other words ang mag-fulfill sa covenant of works is the same tao giapon tao mismo now karon ang necessity mismo sa humanity ni Christ because na dapat i-fulfill si Christ which is perfect obedience and sacrifice now karon si Kristo ang atong high priest Samsung ingon nga related siya sa pagka priestly work ni Christ kaning intercession ang yang lawas nga iyang a basis o gagamiton niya dito sa pag-intercede sa iyang katawan o iyang lawas nga nagrepresent salad o gabuhato na ni Christ matud pa sa atong katigisim continually continually or meaning always remember us when he represented us before the Father now para mas masabtan nato because si Christ as our intercession or as our great high priest ang yang gibuhat nga as ang yang gibuhat nga as high priest is not separated sa ginabuhat sa high priest sa Old Testament. Now the main purpose ang um, the main purpose nga or the main trabaho sa high priest in the Old Testament is maghalad which is magdala og halad mismo sa sulod sa temple and at the same time intercession. So ang intercession dito is katong burning of incense where ang smoke is represented as the prayer of the saints. So I will not go in detail but I will just relate you the work of the high priest in the in the Old Testament which is related sa gibuhat ni sa ginabuhat ni Christ karon sa Old Testament when the high priest musulod dito sa holy temple dili lang siya kay siya lang gasulod dito so that is why uh, naay ginatawag nga katong garments for priest that is significant ato na siya maton and dinhi pagsulod ni Christ dito or ang Old Testament priest or Old Testament high priest musulod na sila sa 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 temple ang ilang ginabuhat dito is atonement for sin. Mawag gina siya. Always remember that, uh, take note of that nga, mag-atone rin sa sin. Sa sin, sa people, and at the same time, sa yaha. Sa yaha mismo as high priest. Si Christ mismo, as our great high priest, nisulod na dito sa langit. Naasa sa langit mismo, as our great high priest. So, para mas masabto na ito, atong basahon din sa Hebrews chapter 9, verse 24. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 24, if you have your Bible. Ningun din sa Uh, sa verse 24 for Christ has entered not into a holy not into holy place made without hands which are copies of the true things but into heaven itself now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf now if you remember sa sa, sa tong study sa tong series of study din sa Hebrews kaning kaning literary style ba sa Hebrew ba nga magkotra siya by magkotra siya by mind or by kanang memory lang So makit ani mo din eh, sa mga Jews ani o yang gisulatan ani nakasabo sila sa gipasabot ani sa writer pero kung mag, kung sato kung sa tay magbasa ta ani murag dili kay siya mag make sense kay pagingon nga but into heaven itself now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf pero masabtan nato ni siya gugumubalik ka sa Exodus chapter 20 28 verse to 29 you open your bible sa Exodus 28 to 29 na adto ang tubag So prior ani nga verse kaning Exodus chapter 1 nagisgot na siya priests or garments so nag-instruct si Moses og garments nga buhaton mismo para isulob sa priest o sa sa high priest So instruction na siya sa high priest daw karon na indire sa verse 29 ningon na indire si Moses So Aar so, so Aaron shall bear the names of son shall bear the names of the sons of Israel in breastpiece of judgment on his heart. So, anong breastpiece of judgment? Muna siya katong best nga gipa i-instruct ni Moses sa katawahan ng buhaton. Nga ipasulob sa high priest when he entered into the most holy place. So, ningon din eh, Israel uh, shall bear the names of the sons of Israel in the breastpiece of judgment on his heart. When he goes into the holy place, to bring them to regular remembrance before the Lord. Kanang regular, kung sa inyong ESB, makita ninyo, regular remembrance before the Lord. Sa NIB or sa NLT, gitranslate na siya as represented before the Lord. So that is why, gamit ko nga representing us before before the Lord. So si, si Aaron, during that time, magbusulod siya sa most holy place, na siya yung best. Dito sa yung best, na siya yung ginatawag na instruction, part sa instruction ni Moses, is na ito mga stone, mga stone nga ipangbutang sa yang vest. Kung mabasa na niya sa prior verse, prior verse aning uh, Exodus 28, mabasa doon na yung mga stone nga ipangbutang. Katong stone represent nagrepresento siya as the Israel. So in other words, 
whenever musulod si Ar- si Aaron sa most holy place na siya vest ang yang vest nagrepresent to dito kadto sa mga stones nagibutan dito sa vest nga gi-instruct ni Moses nagrepresent to siya of people of God or the Israel of God now the same with Christ since ato nabasa ka ganina Christ has entered not into holy places without he- with, made with hands which are copies of the true things but in heaven itself now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf and now Christ si Christ na ana mismo sa langit ni sulod na siya dito sa uh, holy place which is girepresenta niya dito as the same with the old testament priest nga musulod sa most holy place nga naay vest which represents the Israel and so Christ now dito sa langit ni sulod siya sa most holy place representing us with his vest dito before before the father before the father girepresenta niya dito girepresenta niya dito kita tanan nga mga elect mismo dito sa na, dito sa mismo sa sa presence sa Ginoo now the question is what does the nature has to do with intercession Again, gibalik diri nature. Unsa may purpose ana nature? Girepresenta ni Christ. What is unsa purpose ana nature nga gibutan dia? The answer is that human nature is the requirement of God for the fulfillment of the covenant of works. Sama sa ong explain nga ganina. Kay lagi ang covenant works lagi ang gi-require sa covenant of works. The reason why ni ani si Christ dinhi to fulfill the covenant of works, which is ang requirement human nature perfect, sinless and at the same time para masacrifice in in times uh, in terms of sacrifices mahimong sinless now the nature dia mismo nga gipasabot dia moy ang ginagamit mismo as the basis of god uh, as the basis of christ dito mismo at tubangan sa Ginoo for the fulfillment or for the atonement kay lagi ang purpose sa old testament priest mosulod sila dito for the atonement and now karon as i said the reality of sin the reality of sin nga atong gakakomit is always uh kanang offend maka offend ta sa Ginoo na si Christ being our high priest who intercedes for us ang yahang basis nga yang ginagamiton nga dili makindle ang wrath sa Ginoo is ang yahang nature that is why ningon dia ningon dia sa sunod in the merit of his obedience and sacrifice on earth kan man ato ni siyang giklaro ato ato let us uh, balik balik na tani para masabtan nato sa previous nga mga previous nga mga question ato na isgutan dito ang two natures ni Christ one person two natures atong gipakita sa catechism ang distinction mismo nag-explain sila sa unsay reason or why why unsay necessity sa human nature ni Christ ug unsay necessity sa divine nature ni Christ and then sa pinakala sa ikatulong nga question is nganong si Christ may mong god man na din gipakita din sa sa atong catechism ang kaning requirement or ang nature ni Christ because ang nag-fulfill man good sa requirement man good sa requirement sa Ginoo of which is why we have the eternal life and the forgiveness of sin is kaning body although we are not distinguishing kaning we are not separating the the humanity and divinity ni Christ but the point is ang requirement mismo sa Ginoo ba is ang human nature ni Christ so which is nag fulfill sa covenant of works that is why sa active obedience to fulfill perfectly and sayang sayang passive obedience where he took all the sins of his people and bear and laid it on the cross So money ang ginagamit ni Christ karon dito sa taas as our as our great high priest who intercedes for us in intercession because again I said atong gagakomit nga sala ang atong gagakomit nga sala is objective and ang pagdeal sa Ginoo sa sala is wala gyud na siya kakabag-o but the very reason why dili gaka kindle ang rat sa Ginoo mismo sa atoa is because of Christ's intercession in the merit of his obedience and his um sacrifice on earth in other words If Christ will accuse us or if Christ will judge us, Christ will intercede. I am Lord because I have already done my part for the people, for my people in behalf of my people. I have the perfect I have uh I have perfectly obeyed the law and I have sacrificed myself which is sinless which is acceptable at ubanga si mo. So mo na siya as intercession, gipakita diri mismo nga ang um, ang pag-intercede mismo ni Christ, pag-intercede mismo ni Christ sa atoa is kana yang nature yang gigamit mismo dito sa langit to represent us to be the basis sa atong uh, sa, sa atong intercession before the lord now not only that he appeared uh, before the father to represent us in the merit of his obedience and sacrifice it is also in this merit that he declared his will before the father that it should be applied to the believers una una is kana represent Now karon dire ta sa ikaduha dire ta maglangay kay medyo taas taas pa tong discussion. Ikaduha is by declaring his will before the father. 
Butang dia, declaring His will to have it applied to all believers. The priest declaring His will is significant because unlike the high priest in the old or pariah sa tua, kita nga mga priest because we share the anointing of Christ, we are the priest of God. But kita mismo, we are just pleading. Mag-plead rata sa ginoo, mag-depend rata sa grasya, mag-depend rata sa mercy sa ginoo. And the same with the Old Testament priest, uh, with the priest in the Old Testament, they do not, they, they cannot demand. They can just plead for mercy and grace. But gibutang din sa atong katikisim, which is significant, declaring His will. So He can just not only plead and always depend on before God, but for Christ, since He is already in an exalted state, He has now the right to demand. Ang demand din, hindi rin siya ka nang mag-demand bito nga walay katungod. Nasa yung right to demand, it is because na human na niya yung work, which is yung gamitin para sa yung katawan for the intercession, parang ang amahan mismo, when he will de- if, he will de- uh, if he will deal with us, especially sa itong sin, Christ will intercede. Christ mo yung mag- uh, to intervene. So, muna siya, because, he, because Christ is already in an exalted state, ang yang intercession is naanay power. That is why significant ang gingon niya nga, declaring His will. Wala na nga pleading, declaring His will. In other words, in the work of His intercession, as He had done His work on earth, He ascended above and sitting now at the right hand of God. He can now declare His will or desire or desire or His will that His merits be applied to the elect. As part of Christ's intercession, which is uh, sa atong time karon ga realize na to kaning maka gi-apply na sa Ginoo ba gi-apply na sa gi-apply na ni Christ through the Holy Spirit ang kaning active obedience or perfect perfect law nga gi-obey niya ug ang yahang sacrifice the forgiveness of our sins especially atong eternal life gi-apply na mismo gi-apply na mismo sa sa Holy Spirit sa mga katawhan niya even this time ga realize na ni sa mga mga tao so dinhi ningon dinhi sa Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 he is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of His nature. And He upholds the universe by the word of His power. After making purification for sins, that means after He died on a cross, after He sacrificed Himself, He sat down at the right hand of, at the high, uh, at the right hand of the majesty on high. In other words, nana siya authority, nana siya, nana siya power, nga sayang intercession, it will affect na ma-apply mismo sa iyang katawad. Now, karon, unsaon man niya pag-apply sa mga believers, kaning merits niya, active obi- kaning obedience, perfect obedience, o kaning iyahang uh, sacrifice. Now, we all know that we only receive these benefits through faith. Pinaagi sa pagtuo. Faith ang mahimong instrument na ma-apply ang merits ni Christ sa iyang mga katawan. That's why kini ang, that's why kini ang uban, kakarealize na ni sa uban nga, they have understood nga na apply mismo ba kay they since they believe in Christ ang merit ni Christ nga obedience and sacrifice which is eternal life and the forgiveness of sins kaya realize na nila sa ilang kinabuhi so that is why niingon sa John 3:16 which is ang ilang gigamit ni for God so loved the world which is the very common verse nga ginagamit even sa mga Armenian di ba for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life now take note. Pwede man maingon si John that whoever believes or the believing ones in him should not perish but be, but be saved. Pwede man maingon si John na pero gisul din adri have eternal life. The very reason for that because sa application of the merits ang eternal life nakabatundag eternal life that is because of the active obedience of Christ which is sa iyahang human nature. Now I am not separating this because dili man pwede may mga Nata eternal life nga dili mag culminate sa death. What I am trying to do is, ako gina distinguish nga ang kaning eternal life at one siyang nadawat, it is because Christ actively and Christ in His active obedience perfectly obeyed the law. So that is why, naingon din eh, those who ever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. So that is why, ang, ang, ang kaning nga truth, kakarealize na mismo sa mga katawahan sa Diyos, even until now nga, when we believe in Christ, kakasapta na nato ni, kakarealize na nato ba, murag nanay sa, by the Holy Spirit who enables us, who illumines us, kaninga truth, kakarealize na ito sa itong kinaboy, bisag 
wala pa gid ang wala pa gid nato i mean wala pa gid ato nga point pa ka realize na nato ni siya nga, nga truth because in his in his intercession Christ because sa pag intercede ni Christ kinana siya sa langit having the power and authority ihayo ni gina-apply ug yan ni gi-declare mismo dito sa mga katawhan so John 17:9 uh, gigamit mismo nga verse uh, apon ani John 17:9 and then 20 and 24 ningon din ni sa John chapter uh, John chapter na uh, John chapter 17 verse 9 ningon ni I am praying for them I am not praying for the world but for those whom you have given me for they are yours ningon si Jesus verse 20 I do not ask for this only, but also for those who will believe in me through the word. In other words, through the preaching of the apostles. Mga believers karun nga motoo ba? Pagkabos sa verse 24, ningun na siya din nila yun. Father, I desire that they also, whom you have given me, may be with me where I am, to see my glory that you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Now, this priestly prayer ni Christ, naitabo na ni because nag gina-apply na ni, ni Christ mismo, it is because si Christ karon in reality, karon nga, karon nga time, naa siya sa langit, interceding and applying His merits sa iyang mga katawahan. So, during this time, ang iyang, ang iyang prayer mismo, ang iyang prayer mismo para sa iyang katawahan. Kakaitabo na, o naitabo na karon kay ito, o naa si Christ sa langit, interceding for us, by his authority, by the power that God, uh, that the Father has given him. So this, pagkakaroon na yun muna naging effectual, kaya gina-apply na ni mismo sa Christ, ni Christ mismo, Christ mismo through his Holy Spirit sa iyahang mga katawahan. Diyan mo makitaan nga si Christ mismo, kaning ginatawa nga pag-represent niya sa langit o kaning pag-apply o pag-declare sa iyong will dito. Is, this will, this will really effective sa mga katawahan sa ginoodyod mismo. This will not, this will never be kanang discarded, this will never be restrained, and walay makahinderan eh, and this will effectively applied sa mga believers, sa mga elect. The question is, are we in Christ? That is the very question. Naabata kang Kristo. Or if, or if we profess that we are in Christ, do we have this desire to honor, to honor and obey Him? If we profess that we are in Christ, because this truth, this Kaning pag-intercede ni Christ is always effective para sa iyo mga katawahan. So kana, dapat na Christ? Or if, pre- or if we profess that we are in Christ, do we have this desire to honor and obey Him? Knowing this truth should move us to obey God joyfully. Knowing that Christ's intercession will never fail and will always be effective sa mga katawahan niya. So you, as you understand, as you realize this truth, may this truth may mong mag-move sa iyo nga mag-obey kay Christ. Mag-obey kay Christ, mag-obey sa gino joyfully in obeying His laws joyfully, knowing that Christ is interceding, interceding for us. And it should be that our heart will be filled with thanksgiving. Di ba? Eh, kabalo, si Christ mismo nag-intercede sa tua. Makapatuntag ka ng kalipay nga mag-obey sa yaha ba? Knowing that Christ is interceding for us. Or this truth should move us or to take action to make our calling and election sure and examine whether we are in the faith. Kaya lagi, kaning intercession ni Christ is always effective. But this will always be, but this is only effective sa iyo mga katawan. That there is, a, that there must be a responsibility on our behalf or on our part to make our calling and election sure. And to make our self nga, whether we are in the faith, or perhaps ang atong faith is just a temporal faith, or kaning ginatawag na itong historical faith, which is si Satan, as we have seen in the scripture, as also, has also kaning ginatawag nga faith mismo. Di ba? Temporal faith. So, kana, may this truth move us to take action nga mga check ta sa itong kagalingan. Whether we are in the faith or whether uh, we are called and elect by God. So, that is the, that, that is the, uh, that is the second thing. So, una-una is by representing us before the Father. And the second is by declaring His will before the Father. The third is by maintaining our state of justification before the Father. This does not imply that intercession may possibly fail in the future. So, kanya akong point din ba nga, maintaining the state of justification before the Father. Dili na siya pasabot nga in the future, basig mo fail si Christ. No. 
But rather, it only means that in reality, because we are in reality and Christ's body is in reality in sa heaven, as He intercedes for us, our status before the Lord as justified person, because He justified us sa ginoo, will never change. As I said kaganina, every time we sin, ang dealing sa ginoo sa sin mismo, wala ka kabag-o. But the problem lang is the difference lang sa ato ang mga pinili, dili ka kakindil ang rat sa ginoo. That is because of the Christ intercession mismo. That is why ang atong justification is kakamaintain. That is why we believe that once justified, it is always justified. But in reality, ana, which is gakaitabo karon, si Christ mismo as he intercedes uh, for us before the Father, iyahang ginamaintain ang atong state of justification. That is because uh, mao na siyang part sa mao na siyang part sa intercession ni Christ ngayon ang ginabuhat. Ihigundiya, answering, answering all accusations against them. Ang, ac- ang accusation diha, nga word, ang accusation diha nga, nga word, nagpoint na siya sa atong accuser. Now, atong accuser is the world, ourselves, but the main point is Satan. Ang gipoint diri nga accuser is Satan. Now, karon, si Satan is our main accuser. Ang ground sa yawa sa pag-accuse sa tuwa, kaya nga to, sa ato mga sala, ang ground sa yawa sa pag-accuse sa tuwa is kanang sala, gagakomit na to. In other words, when when Satan bring this charge, kaning sala nga itong nakomit pa, when, when Satan bring this charge to God, valid ang iyang reason. Valid. And in that case, you will be judged in that case because valid lagi. But even then, si Christ, uh, si Christ mismo as our intercessor, or as, yes, as our intercessor, he intervenes in the charge of Satan. In other words, ang accusation sa yawa sa tuwa, tungod kay sa atong gakabuhat nga sala, gakahimo tang dili angay nga mudawat sa bisan unsa, gikan sa gino, even sa kaluwasan. Because of this sin, we are not worthy to receive this. But Christ intervene. But Christ intercede. In other words, kung nga yawa pa yung pastoryahon, the moment we commit sin, impyerno na ta. Which is true. Because that is valid. God is holy. Pero si Kristo mismo ang, ang na, nga naa sa langit karon nga intercede ta tuwa pinaagi sa pagtubag sa mga accusation sa iyang katawan at tubangan sa Ginoo. Ug ang resulta ani nga butang mahimong bag malampuson kay ang gahom nga gihatag sa yasa mahan effective. In other words, although valid ang charge sa ang charge sa yawa sa atwa before the Father, but Christ, but Christ interse, uh, intercession intercessory work which is in the merit of his obedience and in the merit of his sacrifice. All the charge nga, uh, all the charge nga ginadala sa ayawa dito sa amahan w- will be outweighed by the perfect obedience and the sacrifice of Christ. In other words, this is the, this is really the basis of Christ nga mag-intercede niya. Nga although, uh, it is just like in a court of appeal ba? Kanabi tayo na yung mag, nabi tayo mag, uh, magkuan sa kaso ba? So, on the other hand, diri, kanin si Christ, and then on the other hand, diri si, si Satan. And so, kita mismo nga guilty, which is truly guilty, mag-inatubangan sa gino because we commit sin. And this, kanin diri nga side, mo accuse ta nga, we are guilty. But Christ, as our, inter- as our intercessor, mo appeal or mo intervene siya nga, although valid man siya, pero they have already, they have already forgiven because of my sacrifice, because of my perfect obedience before the Lord. So, mo na siya ang, mo na siya ang intercessory nga gipakita ni Kwan Diri, in that case, that is why gakamintain ang atuang state of justification. Although valid atong valid ang salang agadong gakabuhat, but Christ's intercessory work through His uh, merit obedience, merit of obedience and sacrifice, gaka outweighs niya ang charge mismo sa state, uh, gaka, gaka outweighs mismo sa ni Christ ang charge sa yawa sa tuwa dito atubangan sa you know. That is why ni ngon ang Romans chapter eight verse thirty three to thirty four atong gibasa kaganina. Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? Kinsa man? Satan. It is God who justifies. Christians, those who believe in Christ, are already justified. Since, Christ, since God is the ultimate judge, when He judge us and justifies us, wala na appealing to the higher court because Christ is the highest court of appeals. And so when, when God justifies a person, that is already done. Dili na na siya ma. Dili na na siya uh, mo appeal pa sa higher court. Tanawa na yun. Who is to condemn? Kisa may condemn. Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God. Who indeed is interceding for us. That is why 
Karena pagamatay ni Christ, he was resurrected. He ascended into heaven and now he is sitting at the right hand of the Father which, which means na siya authority, na siya power to exercise. So in his inter- in his intercession, wala wala na charge mismo yun nga kana bang i-charge mismo sa yawa sa tuwa dito sa amahan nga mahimong basis mismo sa ginoo nga i-condemn ta because Christ was already condemned on our behalf dia mismo sa iyang sacrifice sa iyang perfect sacrifice that is why sa tungi basa kanina ahead lang Romans 8:38 to 39 ning dinhi for i am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor ni- nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So that is Christ's intercessor, intercessor one of the uh, Christ's intercessory works, atwa, maintaining our state of justification before the Father in the merit of His obedience ngayang ginagamit to be the basis ng mag-intervene siya dito sa ginoo o sa yahang sacrifice mismo at ubakan si ginoo. That is why, brothers, it is when we when we commit sin this is on a daily basis we we, we commit sin on a daily basis magamay man na madako but atubangan sa Ginoo level na siya and that's enough and that's enough for us to be condemned but si Christ mismo who have who have fully obeyed the law for us and who died on our sins moto merit nga yang ginagamit to intercede for us before the father that instead of judging us, the perfect obedience and the sacrifice of Christ, mo yang ginapresent at ubangan sa Gino. And that's the reason why we, we can never be condemned anymore. So that is why whenever we sin, for we always sin as long as we are still in the fallen world, as long as we are in the world, as long as we are in the flesh, we are still and we commit sin. But even then, do not be despaired, brothers, brothers and sisters in the Lord, but instead cling to His promise. Cling to Christ Himself, that you are already justified, that you are already forgiven. Cling to that promise. Cling to that promise. So when you sin, ask forgiveness, and cling to the promise of Christ. Cling to Him, to Christ Himself. Dere mo makita nang dere mo makita mismo nga even sa intercessory work ni Christ, makabaton tay comfort. Though indeed we commit sin objectively, but Christ's intercessory work will outweighs all those charges before the Father. Now let us move to the last point again. Again, uh, four ways that Christ make interceding for us is ang una-una by representing us before the Father that He is our great High Priest who ascended to heaven representing us before the Father mismo dito sa yahang sa amahan mismo. And the second thing is by declaring His will before the Father. The ter- third is by maintaining our state of justification before the Father. And the last one is by procuring for us the privileges from the Father. That is because Christ's intercession, dili mo tapoy di makaduo sa ginoo, dili tapoy di, dili tama accept sa ginoo in and of our own. But Christ, who is our intercessory or inter- intercessor, intervenes on our behalf. So by pro- by procuring for us the privileges from the Father. In other words, sa pagintercede ni Christ sa atua. Si Christ mo ginaprocure niya mismo ang pabor sa amahan na para sa tuwa. So Nadia, tulon ni siya kabuok. Ato siyang inay, ato siyang tagsa-tagsaon. The first thing is kanang procuring for them quiet of conscience, notwithstanding daily failings. So kanang word nga procuring, pasabot, ana, to obtain or to attain, or to achieve, or to secure. So which is, ako lang gigamit ang procure. Ako taning gi Ako ang ibutan ni secure, pero ako nalang gili sa procure para mas masabtan nato. But the point is to attain, to secure for us. O kanang quiet of conscience diya, pasabot na na, kanang kalinaw sa itong una-una. Kanang when we, whenever we sin, even though we sin, natay kalinaw sa itong, sa itong conscience, natay kalinaw. So, ato masabtan, ano yung nana. So, meaning, so meaning isa sa pabor nga giprocure ni Christ diya sa iyang pag-intercede para sa iyong katawan, ay kaning makabaton tawag kalinaw sa itong una-una, bisan pa sa mga sala na gakabuhat sa matag karunog unya. Always, again, mura ga-overlap na siya itong discussion previous. Diba, every time we sin, um, I would feel always, kanang, kanang bang discomfort ba? Kaya kabalutan nga, whenever we sin, we offend God yet ultimately. 
mao gina siya ang permanente gid nga naasa uno na sa tao sa Christian nga inig makasala siya he knows that he always offend God mismo but kana siya nga kana siya mismo nga kana siya mismo nga higayon and whenever we sin although it accuses us it accuses our conscience that is why makaingon ta nga murag di nagigaangay mo dili nagigumo angay mo dul sa Ginoo ganay because God is holy and we are sinner and we are sinful dili na ko angay mo dul sa Ginoo but even then kana siya nga kana siya nga pangitabo dili na siya mismo maka hinungdan nga makapalayo ta but instead mo duol ta kang Christ mismo because we have already peace we have already or mo duol ta sa Ginoo mismo because we have already peace with God through Jesus Christ our Lord kay tungod sa once or once and all uh, once for all sacrifice ni Kristo nga dili na mausab og mabalik ka pangitabo because it was done once and it was done for eternity so atong sin nga gakabuhat sa matag karon og unya kay dili na makapawala sa kung unsa atong status at ubangan sa Ginoo because again it is really discomfort it is kung discomforting gid nga kana bang makasin ka kay kabulo ka you offend God but even then because Christ uh, have already reconciled us before the Father. We have already peace with God, and by that we will never be alienated from God anymore. We will never be separated from God anymore. And so Christ's intercession mismo ang naghatag anig peace. And kaninga peace ginahatag niya siya sa hayang mga katawan sa mga believers ng tao ay mga katawhan mismo udo mo sin because magasin lagi ta on a regular basis. But this peace of mind or can in peace of conscience quiet of conscience ginabutang niya sa sa yahang mga katawhan because tagi we have already peace with God through Jesus Christ our Lord we are already justified before God because of our Jesus because of our Lord Jesus Christ Romans 5 1 2 mo yung gigamit ani ningon dia therefore since we have been justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ we have been reconciled back to God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, through the atonement that Christ did on a cross, we have peace with God. Ano tayo kalinaw diya mismo, kaya na-reconcile naman tabalik sa ginoong. Through Him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Bakit ano mo? Although we sin, but the peace of conscience or the quiet of conscience gina-apply or ginabutang mismo sa ginoong, ni Christ mismo sa iyahang mga katawan. That whenever they sin, they always think of kaning peace with God. Peace with God. Because I have been reconciled back to God because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Although I am not worthy to come before God because in and of ourselves lagi, di mong kita angay mudul kang, di mong kita angay makaduol sa gino, but because of Christ's intercession, that ang yang basis is merit and His uh, sacrifices or atonement, Iyang ginabutang sa iyang mga katawan kaning quiet of conscience and a peace of mind mismo sa iyang mga katawan. 1 John 2, 1, 2. Ningun din eh, My children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, kung namin makasala sa inyo ha, we have an advocate with the Father. We have kaning ginatawag intercessor, which is Jesus Christ. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Ningong si John, ako ning gisulat para dili mo makasala. Pero makasala man mo, because that is, uh, kanang alagay, because we, we, we fail on a daily basis because of the corruption of our sins. Ayaw ka balaka, ningong si John. We have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ the righteous. In other term, kaning advocate means comforter. Itawag nga comforter, it is because pag nai mag-advocate sa imo nga, nai mag-plead sa imong cause, you will be comforted because dili na ikaw yung mag-atubang sa judge. Na nai advocate nga mag-plead sa imong cause. And ang plead sa cause, o ang pag-plead mismo ni Christ sa cause sa ato sa ginoo, is mahimong ma-outweighs because of perfect obedience and the perfect sacrifice of Christ. So dini, bakit ano mo, kaning nga, Kani siya nga privileges nga giprocure ni Christ para sa tong, para sa para sa iyang katawan is through the work of his intercessory intercessory work as our great high priest ka intercede siya kanato 
Gaya intercede siya. When we sin, He intercedes. And uh, the basis of His intercession is kind of obedience and sacrifice before uh, did to sa cross mismo. So, ikadwa nga pabor nga gi-sulti diya is kind of access with boldness to the throne of grace. So, meaning, natay confident nga mudool sa ginoo in prayer. Dili na ta mahimong, not in a sense, nga mahimong complacent nga murag Murag kita na ay, kita na ay nagtagiya sa ginoo ba? But confident because although God is holy and God is to be feared in that way, but because of Christ, because of Christ's intercession, natay confident nga mudool. Because when we draw before God, when we draw closer to God, it is Christ who intervene on our behalf. See, it is Christ, it is Christ who intercede in the merits of His obedience and sacrifice. Ang Biblia nag-describe sa kung unsa kabalaan ang ginoo. So this is the this is the very this is the very kana kadlukan mismo sa mga Old Testament people ba kaning kabalaan sa Ginoo isa si Isaiah sa nakatestify sa pagkabalaan sa Ginoo so, you are familiar with this passage with this text Isaiah 6:3 one and one called to another and said holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory ang Hebrew nga expression Ang Hebrew ng expression kung ang kung ang isa ka word balik kung ikatulo in their time that is that that has a great significance during their time kung balik kung gaya ikatulo ba holy 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 sa ilang sa mga Hebrew people sa unang time grabe kina sila ka grabe kina sila ka kaning kanabang kaning significance ani ba grabe kina sila mutatak ng significance anang balik kung ikatulo bitaw pura bitaw alert kina sila ba ma alert kina sila ayon na so sa case sa word na holy ang ginoo kay dili lang kay basta balaan siya but it is holy 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 in that case that means it is in a superlative sense pinaka highest transcendent na nga holy na wala na gay wala na gay ay kumpara in other words ang yang pagkabalaan kay wala nay lain may kakumpara pa kay siya na ang pinaka balaan in a superlative sense wala nay makatupong saya that is why sa verse 5 of Isaiah, makabantay ka sa fi- verse 5, mato ka sa verse 5, nangyong si Isaiah, and I said, Who is me? For I am lost, for I am man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst, in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Pagkakita niya mismo sa ginoo, pagkakita niya mismo sa vision mismo dito, ang ginoo is holy, 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 nakita niya yung kagalingon nga, and clean lips nakit aniya yang kaugalingon nga lost who is me in other words na compare na yang kaugalingon mismo sa Ginoo nga nakaingon siya gyud there is nothing to compare mismo sa Ginoo and kanisha og kaning holiness mismo sa Ginoo makita nimo ang pag demonstrate sa Ginoo sa yang pagkabalaan sa Bible makit ani man siya sa, sa Leviticus chapter sa, sa Leviticus and even sa Exodus 24 Nai instances nga wala na ko na butang wala na ko na butang verse din eh. Kato ni Saka si Moses sa Mount Sinai where he called by God. Nag-instruct ang Ginoo mismo dito sa sa gingon ni Moses, gingon sa Ginoo kay Moses nga instruct ni sa tao. On the base dito sa mountain walay du, walay mo duol mismo nga mga mananap. Kaya mo duol nga mga mananap mamatay. That is because of God's holiness. In other words, Diri pa lang dia, dia mismo sa holiness ni Gino, dia mismo sa scripture. Makita gyud natin yun nga the holiness of God is not just kanang illusion. It is not just kanang ginatawag nga uh, imaginary, but the holiness of God is real objective that he is holy, holy, holy. In that case, there is no reason gyud unta. There is no reason gyud unta nga makaduot kang sa Gino. Pero tungod kay Kristo nga atong high priest nga naga intercede sa tua, pinaagi sa yang sacrifice, sa yang merits, obedience, makabatong tag-confident nga mudool sa ginoo diya sa mga pag-ampo despite sa atong sin, despite sa atong failure, despite sa atong uh, daily failings, makaduol ta mismo at ubangan sa ginoo, it is because of Christ Jesus. In and of our own, we cannot be able to approach God, but Christ, since we are united with Christ, since we are one with Christ, it is Christ who intercedes on our behalf. And that in that case, gadawaton ni gadawaton sa ginoo mismo ang atong mga pag-ampo, not just because na inherent power or na inherent nga 
acceptable ato ba nga sa Gino? But because of Christ mismo, nag-intercede sa ato. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 to 16. Gamit lang ang verse. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize. Uh, in other version, to touch with feeling, with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of praise that we may receive find that we may receive mercy and find grace to help and in time of in time of need. In other words, we can be able to approach God in the intercessory work of Christ. So that is why when we when we pray, mudulta sa ginodya sa mga prayer. Odo na mga imperfection ang atong mga prayer, but Christ mo intercede sa atong mga prayer nga mismo mahimo madawat makabaton tag mercy in times of our distress in times of uh, we are disappointed we are discouraged mismo na ang na ang na si Christ nga mag-intercede sa tuwa and find grace maghatag sa tuwa although we are undeserved but grace is poured out sa iyang mga katawhan in times of need to dia makita nimo ang ang uh, ang gi procure mismo nga privileges sa Ginoo as ni Christ sa tuwa mismo, diya, gikan sa amahan. E kabalo mo ginang ginoo, kabalo mo si Christ that we cannot do, uh, we can do nothing apart from Him. And we cannot approach God. And we cannot be able to withstand or we cannot be able to stand on our own kung matubang na sa ginoo when we sin. So diya, mismo ang intercessory work ni Christ, maging animo ang yang importance, maging animo ang significance niya sa kinaboy sa Kristuhanon. Ang last nga privilege, privileges nga gi ina procure ni Christ para sa iyang katawan dia sa iyang intercession is pinakalas dia is kani accepted of their persons and services as a person gidawat ta sa Ginoo dili tungod kay naay nakita ang Ginoo sa ato nga nahimong hinungdan nga iyatang gi accept nga anak so in and of our own self in and of our own kung tanaw na sa Ginoo uh kan kita wicked because that is our heart continually evil. And though in that case, we always disobey, we always despise, we always dishonor God. So, in God's perspective, kung tanawang tanya, ingunana ang itanaw sa tuwa. But Christ, who intercedes for us, gidawat niya ang atong person. Person. And not only that, not because na inherent or na something na kitang sa tuwa ginoo. But that is only because of Christ's intercessory work sa tuwa mismo. Na iyahang, iyahang mismong he present dito sa Gino. He intervenes before the Father. So which is ang atong persons because we are we are united and we are with union with Christ. So ang gagamito ni Christ nga mag-intercede sa tuwa because we are united with Him. Kung kita-kita yung mag-present sa atong sa atong good works, sa atong mga persons dito, filthy rags, di tadawaton. But since we are united with Christ, we are one with Christ, ang gagamito ni Christ nga mag-intercede sa Father, ang perfect obedience, ug ang yang perfect sacrifice. Daw sama na sa Heidelberg Catechism, daw sama nga kita yung nag-obey sa law perfectly. Daw sama nga kita mo igilantang dito nga perfect sacrifice mismo. So that is why gakadawaton sa ginoo ang atom persons in the merit of the work of Christ, of His person. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6, He predestined us for adoption to Himself as sons, through Jesus Christ. Na instrument, through Jesus Christ. According to the purpose of His will, to the praise of His glorious grace, with which He has blessed us in the Beloved. That is always in the, that is always in the work and the person of Christ that we are accepted as His beloved Son and uh, at our person accepted. Ug about sa service or good works, gadawaton rana sa gino dili tungod sa quality sa atong binuatan. Kaya lagi, kung i-present kaya po naman sa gino ang imong good works, Di gya po na makapasa sa standard. Mubagsak gya po na siya. Because ang required sa Gino, pristine love. The good works that is out of pristine love. Walay hypocrisy, walay, walay impurity. It is always pristine love. And we all know that Christ is the only one who did this on our behalf. So that is why ang atong good works, although naa siya imperfection because we are corrupt, but when we do it sincerely, Kadawato na sa Ginoo, not because, not because kaniyang ginatawag nga we do it sincerely, because pwede man siya sincerta, sincerta, atong buwato na atong good works sincerta, pero kung apart from Christ, di gyapon na kadawato sa Ginoo ang atong good works. 
So that is why we are blessed and uh, so grateful and comfort that we are in Christ. Na kanito mga good works, although imperfect with sin, weaknesses, but because of uh, because of our union with Christ mismo, ang atong good works nga sincere, gadawato na sa Ginoo in the merits of Christ in his obedience and his sacrifice. Ba? So that's why batungod kay inunion ta or united ta kay Christ by faith, although imperfect and weak, atong good works because we are corrupt, gadawato na sa atong amahan tungod sa intercession ni intercession ni Christ. First Peter chapter 2 verse 4 to 5. Sa asong text ganina, as you come to him a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious. So living stone here is translated as well as cornerstone. Na agi-explain na ganina. Pati ito mag-focus niya. Pero yun din eh, you yourselves like cornerstone, you yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer sacrifices acceptable to God. Kano acceptable to God man? Because it is acceptable Kaya ito, ang atong spiritual sacrifice, it is always when you with Christ. Sacri- spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. A spiritual sacrifices simply means Christian worship, pattern of living, or in other words, good works. As a Christian, we do, we are, we are living here, obeying God. So that is our spiritual sacrifices. Ningon si, ningon si Paul sa Romans chapter 12, over your body as a living sacrifices. For this is your spiritual worship. Gi explain na ni Elder Dave, uh, gi, gi specific explain ni Elder Dave ganina ang uh, spiritual sacrifices. But as a whole, it is a good works mismo. Nga good works mismo kani spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God. And it is always acceptable to God, not because of our own inherent nga uh, like something good, but because we are united with Christ mismo. Revelation chapter 8 verse 3 to 4. And another angel came and stood at the altar with a golden censer, and he was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints. On the golden altar before the throne, and the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints rose before God from the hand of the angel. Now, tanawan, tanawan ato ang gisulti sa Westminster Confession. Westminster Confession, chapter 16 of Good Works, section 6. Tanawan sa gisulti din eh. Notwithstanding, the persons of believers being accepted through Christ, their good works are also accepted in Him. Not as though they were in, in this life holy and blamable and unreprobable in God's sight, because that is impossible in this world. But ningun din ang confession, but that He, that is God, looking upon them, that is us, in His Son, is pleased to accept and reward that which is sincere, although accompanied with many weaknesses and imperfections. That is only because of Christ that when we present our good works before the Lord, although imperfect because of sin, corrupted weakness by sin, but because of Christ mismo, because of Christ nga nag-intercede sa tua in the merits of His obedience and sacrifices, kakahimong acceptable and pleasing atubangan sa ginoo ang kaning atong mga good works. That is only because of the intercessory work of Christ. Makita ni mo din eh, nga the, pro, the privileges nga giprocure sa Gino para sa tua. Makita ni mo nga Christ intercession is always uh, if you always think about the Christ intercession sa tua makahingin yun ka nga Christ, it is indeed Christ who work our salvation it, it, walay there is no participation on our behalf. And then makita ni mo ang mga significance and mga privileges nga in and of our own, in and of our own good, diligin na ito mabuhat good. That is why, ato nakita ka sa pag-procure mismo sa gino, kaning quiet of conscience. So when you sin, you just don't, don't be despaired. Ayaw kayo, namagugay maibawaan good nga, e nag, makasala sila ito ba nga sa gino, magpalayo sa gino. Ayaw, makasala ka, paduwa sa gino. Because, Christ intercession, Christ intercession is always effective. And we have already, he, he had, he had already procured uh, this quiet of conscience mismo at tubangan sa Ginoo. And we are pleased with God. Ikadua ka ng throne of grace. So when you pray to God, you pray to God with confidence that you as son, katubagon sa Ginoo ang imong mga pag-ampo tungod kay si Kristo nag-inter, nag-intercede sa tuwa mismo. Nay mga times, nay times nga 
mag-ampu ta, na mga pag-ampu nga, dili na ito malitok, which is, will sa ginoo. But, Christ, through the Holy Spirit, who prays for us before the Father, who prays, nga itong mga prayer na itong nga, nga haom sa will, pero dili na ito gaka-pray. Hingon sa Romans chapter 8, ang Holy Spirit may gapraya na tubangan si Gino. And that is accepted because of Christ's intercessory work sa ito mismo. And even ganito sa pinakalas nga ito na mention, good works, may this truth na nag-comfort sa ito, makapadayon ito nga. Indeed, ang atong good works is uh, acceptable, which is kaning sincere na ito nga pag-serve sa Gino, kaning good works na ito nga sincerely offered to God is acceptable at tubangan sa Gino. That is because of Christ mismo. So may this truth move us, may this truth prompt us to continue to do good works. To continue, may mo, may mo tang joy, may mo tang malipayon sa pagsunod mismo sa Gino ba? May mo tang mas malipayon nga magbuhat sa mga putang nga angay na itong buhaton, nga which is kuman sa Gino nga to place Him. Because that is the very, because that is the very purpose of our existence here, to glorify God, to place Him. Diba? In everything, as long as, as long as sincere, especially in good works, mahimu ni siyang acceptable at tubangan sa gino. That is because Christ intercedes and in the merits of His obedience and His sacrifices. It is only because of Christ's intercession that we receive these privileges. Such as the comforting truth, good nga. Masap ta na itong atong pagrender na ito sa itong service at tubangan sa gino. Is gadawat sa gino. That is because of Christ. And this is in reality nga dapat ato masabtan. We are saved. One saved, always saved. But in reality, mo nang ginabuhat ni Christ. He never, wala pa siya ni undang sa intercession niya. It is really comforting to know that Christ intercedes for us. Because in and of our own, apart from Him, we can do nothing. We can please God in every way. We can draw near to Him. And much more, we can even live with Him forever. But because Christ who are now sitting at the right hand of the Father exercising power and authority, we can trust that His intercession will never fail and it will have a glorious result to expect because at the end of this world, His people will certainly and finally be with Him in heaven for eternity. So question 55, how does God, Christ make intercession? Answer, Christ make it intercession by His appearing in our nature continually before the Father in heaven in the merit of His obedience and sacrifice on earth, declaring His will to have it applied to all believers, answering all accusations against them, and procuring for them quiet of conscience, notwithstanding daily failings, access with boldness to the throne of grace, and acceptance of their persons and services.